Joe, congratulations on the nomination. Can you tell us what it what it means to you? Yeah, thanks very much. Um, yeah, I was a little bit surprised uh, when I got the call last night uh, uh, from Craigie telling me that I'd uh, been nominated. It was a, a little surprise for me, but it's nice. Um, most importantly, we got the four points on the weekend. That's um, what I'm most concerned with. What did your old man say? I told him this morning we were having a coffee um, just before we both went to work, and uh, yeah, he was wrapped. He's uh, um, takes a little bit of interest in uh, my football and it's, uh, I think he's pretty happy to see his son uh, running around uh, for the Essendon Football Club. It's something you'd have over him. They wouldn't have had Rising Star back in his nah, day. No, not back in the old days, no. Nah. <laughs> Tell us about your performance on the weekend. You're almost <coughs> shouldering the responsibility as what a second year player or like of the entire forward line. Do you thrive under that situation of the responsibility? Uh, look, for me, I'm just really happy to get an opportunity to um, represent the Essendon Football Club and it's uh, been a dream of mine to play for this club for a long time and to get the opportunity uh, to wear the jumper every week is something that um, you know I hold dearly to myself and um, something that I'm not taking for granted. So every time I do get to wear it, it's, uh, it's just a real opportunity. Do you feel like something clicked the past couple of weeks? Your, your past two games have been probably close to your best. Do you feel as if something's clicked? Not really. I feel like my training standard's probably gone up a little bit higher. Um, you know, as when you come into a football club, it is a rude awakening at uh, how hard you do have to train. Um, and, you know, in season, we've had a couple of really good weeks now where we've had the opportunity to get out on the track. And, um, you know, I've really enjoyed the chance to get out on the track and train hard. And, um, you know, I think that has helped my football a little bit. But uh, obviously, I've got a long way to go in a lot of areas. So why has that standard gone up the last the past couple? Yeah, I mean, I think it was just an opportunity for our club. Obviously, we had the buy uh, against Sydney, and, and we saw that as a really good opportunity to um, to get some good training in, and we did that and trained quite well. So um, I think that's going to hold us in good stead come the second half of the year. When you got the reprieve the other week when Hurley came out, was that mm -hmm. an important moment for you? Did you take anything from that? Did it maybe that was why you thought, oh, yeah, I've got to make the most of it sort of thing? Yeah, look, I found myself out of the team, which was um, a little bit disappointing for myself. Um, you know, I had to go back to... To training and, and go back to the reserves and try and find some form but um, you know I was lucky enough to get a reprieve as you said uh, with Michael going down with a, a bit of a sore back and um, you know like I said before it was nice just to get another opportunity it was um, you know I haven't had too many times to wear the lesson jumper and every time that I do get to wear it it is another opportunity and um, to kick a couple of goals in front of a big crowd was nice. So you're working on your goal kicking out there is it something that you've got to continually work on? Yeah it is I mean you can tell uh, it does let the team down quite um, significantly when you do miss easy goals and as a forward uh, you should be kicking them and it's something that I'm working on now um, quite fiercely and I'm uh, looking to change that as quick as I can obviously. It, it won't change overnight but it's something that I'm uh, really keen to work as hard as I can on. Have you got a set routine uh, that you go through? Yeah look I'm working on that with the coaches at the moment. I've, uh, I've got a good routine which I've had for a little while and um, obviously need to keep putting in some work into that and um, you know it does change uh, from kicking to training um, and going out in games and kicking in front of big crowds but uh, something that I'm working on and hopefully it uh, can improve quick smart. Obviously Joe going down a, a massive loss to the side, how do you, how do you feel that you'll uh, cover him across the next probably t at least 10 weeks? Yeah look it's really disappointing that Job uh, went down the way he did and uh, we didn't think it would be as bad as it was but Unfortunately, he'll go under the knife today and um, he'll come back a uh, fresher, fresher man in 10 weeks. But, um, you know, the way that we've got to look at it is it's just another opportunity for someone else to come in and, and hopefully that's a young guy that wants to take the, take the opportunity and uh, it's a good opportunity for our, our leaders to stand up and um, have a crack with, uh, with our job. Do you think you've got the depth everyone's saying that makes finals pretty hard for you guys now to lose a, a guy like him? Yeah, look, I'm really confident in our leadership group and our older players that we've got at this football club. Um, uh, for a young player coming into this team, I've felt uh, right at home um, with the leadership group we've got. We've got a really strong uh, group of different characters and um, you know, I'm looking forward to those guys standing up and, and having a, a bigger role in the team. When you hear news like that as a playing group, are we all told together or does news just kind of filter through? Because you can imagine it would be a bit of a dent to the mood at least for a few hours if not more. Yeah look it happened pretty quickly so we got home um, and Job had the scans that day I think um, and then and sort of caught up the surgeon the day after so it all happens pretty quickly and, and we found out after that but um, you know as I said before it's it's one player out and um, hopefully another player can come in and, and uh, have a good crack at it. And obviously Zach got the nom last week back to back one it's a nice, uh, nice boost for the club isn't it? 
Absolutely, yeah. It's nice to, for the club and uh, our development staff to get some recognition for their hard work and, and we've got a really good development program at this club so um, any young footballer that comes into this club is going to have the best chance to improve and become the best player that he can be. So it's something that these facilities have offered, our coaching staff have offered it and uh, it's really exciting to be a part of. That was just telling me that Hurd and Fletcher were the first two bombers to get nom to get back to back noms in 93. That's a uh, yeah, nice name to share with, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I, I wasn't even born in 93 but um, <laughs> obviously that was a good year for the club um, and yeah it's uh, it's pretty time to change since then but uh, yeah it's, it's a little bit funny to look at it that way. How have you found it being at the football club with the, the name and the, the father son and the profile that, that goes with that? There's been plenty of people following your, your career more so than, than most. How have you found that now that you've got you know some good footy under your belt, you've got opportunities here? How, how have you come to terms I guess with that situation? Yeah, look, I was always an Essendon fan growing up and um, knew uh, what my family played a part in this club and, and knew what they did and uh, that was really exciting for me as a kid and, and to come to this club and, and have my chance at um, you know, wearing the Essendon jumper is, is something I'm really proud of and um, it's something for probably the older supporters who can um, you know, sit back and watch my uncles and dad play and, and now they have the chance um, you know, to watch another Danaher running around but um, you know, when push comes to shove in the you know, Saturday night it doesn't mean anything, you know, I'm just another player out there trying to play my role for the team and as cliche as that sounds that's the way that this football club's going, if you're not prepared to play um, your role you won't be out there so that's something that I'm uh, really endeavouring to do and hopefully I can play my role week in week out. Just last year, obviously the last couple of weeks with Hurls out, Jake's gone back. How's that changed your role in the forward line and um, how, how do you see that panning out for the next few weeks as well? Yeah, I suppose with that, um, we're lucky that Tommy Bell came back a couple of weeks ago, um, just in time with Hurls going down. So um, it's nice to have big Tommy back. He's um, you know, been a good help for us down there. And um, Jake is such a versatile player. He can probably play anywhere. He can probably play in the midfield or on the wing. Um, but uh, obviously he's gone down back, played really well. And, and we're looking forward to having Hurls back as soon as possible. And um, I'm looking forward to hopefully having Jakey back alongside me. What was Bombers? Thoughts on the nomination? What did he say to you about it? I haven't spoken to Bomber about it actually. I've barely seen him this morning. I was just yeah. cruising around training trying to um, stay out of his way. So um, I haven't spoken to him yet. So yeah, I'm not too sure.